Well, hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a really quick, short one, this one, just because uh, I'm out for about 10 minutes and I figured come back to the rock pools, which are in Brighton. You've probably seen me here a few times for the last photos that I've done. But I just want to experiment really, but when I got here, the waterfalls are all turned off. So uh, about to find something else to do. And I noticed this beautiful red and orange Acer tree and all these lovely patterns all over the ground that the leaves are made. And then I noticed these beautiful leaves here on the on this rock, the granites. I think it's a limestone actually, and it's just it's got this lovely pattern. And there's these ones here. I've got it at the back of the camera here. And it just it's one of those beautiful, lovely shots. I've got on the front there on the camera. I'll show you there. I've got a ND. I uh, what's it called? A Hoya ND8, and it's just one of those screwing ones. And I've got that on a 28 to 80 mil uh, Nikon lens and currently sitting at one and a half second with an f11 aperture just so i can get it nice and tight and it's also on a timer and just those lovely colors just punching out with the darkness of the granite really like that shot tried to get another shot earlier on of the tree from back here and just over there is some more granites there uh, sorry limestones there and I tried to use them as a leading line for a bit of foreground interest to this tree here and I'll show you that photo now so as you can see it's beautiful vibrant colors but this is a really lovely area it's on the side of a hill Preston Park is just across that side there Preston Road's there Got an awesome bridge that comes across here. Tried to find a composition there, but coming down, but distance, not enough colour in that bottom sector. This is where there's a lovely bounce of colour. There's lots of green up there still. This tree's almost lost its leaves. I'm just gonna have a little scoot around and see what the see what other colours. There's a few colours hidden away over this side of the bush. There's plenty of yellows through that side. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe they'll turn the water on eventually, but the pond ends up down the bottom there. Just see it just at the top of my fingertip. And it seems to be running water down there, but the, the, the waterfall runs from the top. Let me think where I'm thinking from. See where that tree is there. It runs down and along this way and then kind of winds its way down that side of the bridge and then eventually into the pond at the bottom there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wait to see what happens there. Right, so I found another nice little location. There's some rocks here in the foreground, just in front of the camera there. And just up that side there, you've got this lovely punch of orange against all the dark greens and all the dark colors of the darkness, really. And quite inside the canopy, so. And we've got this massive spruce that reaches right up into the sky, up to there, which is pretty awesome. But you've got this nice color there, you can just see it in the screen. So I'm gonna try and use these rocks as a bit of foreground interest. A vertical pano, sorry, vertical, and I'm going to do a little bit of focus stacking. So one on the rock, one just on the side there, and then one on the orange at the trees there, because it's quite nice. So I'm going to go for that. So there's the shot there. Try and line that up. So I'm going to try and get this into a focus stack, then in the middle, and then around the top section there where that green is, where the orange meets the green even. I'm currently on two seconds with an F8 just to get nice and sharp through all the way through and my ISO set at 100 and I've still got that ND8 filter it seems like a, a little bit of a waste of time using an ND filter but I quite like using the long things and there's a few trees here that are moving their leaves and I like that kind of movement I enjoy that in some plants it gives it a little bit of motion and feel so I'm gonna fire that one off so we're currently focused on the rock in the foreground there. It's got a few seconds of a timer. That's the shot going through there. Just gonna move up. Just gonna move up to about there. Focus in there. See how that works. A 
and then up to one second sorry I had a bit of a technical malfunction there the battery died on me so we go up to this centre here where the orange punch is through Let's focus in on that sorry there focus in on that Oh, you can see that but what I'll do is get home and do a little bit of editing on that and I'll show you that now we have a little friend here came along being all noisy chirping away just gone into the bush there that I don't know if he's going to come up here and say hello. I hope he does. I don't think he will though. Seems a little bit reticent. It's gone behind the tree now. There's a magpie just down there. Look at those beautiful colours though. Outstanding colours. I just noticed my battery's dead on this one as well. <laughs> learn how to charge my batteries up really so I'm kind of hoping that he'll come back he's just been bouncing on this rock here and I've taken a few shots of him he seems quite friendly enough this just seems to have I keep zooming in on my camera though. just seems to have shot off a bit oh there he is in a tree or she he or she who are you? Anyways, just in the centre there. I think Robin's got to be one of my favourite birds, I think. Hopefully he comes down to say hello again. Seems to be singing a little song. Just up there at the moment. Seems a bit shy and timid again now. <laughs> it's pretty nice here. It's like in the main road, but it just seems it's just a little bit of uh, woodland, uh, woodland haven, I suppose. Just waiting to see if they can turn on the waterfalls, but I'm not, I'm not hoping for much. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.